Uh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our circuit training class today. And as we do our circuit training, we end up putting anywhere from 8 to 15 moves together. Today we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I don't know, 10 or more. And we are going to mix in a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to do a little uh, hip pull, so a little hip hug. And we are going to do some alternate side lunges today. We're going to do some eyes, Y's, and T's for some shoulder mobility, since a lot of us sit a lot. We are going to do some inchworms, and uh, we can throw some push-ups in on that. We're going to do a squat to knee lift. I'm going to do a toe grab. So we're going to do a squat to knee lift. You can use weights or dumbbells with all of these. Uh, then we're going to do some tricep kickbacks. We're going to do some wood chops. We're going to do some bear crawls. And we're going to do some high pulls. So as usual, what we do is circuit. We're going to do four rounds of this. 30 seconds work. Uh, 12 to 15 seconds rest. We'll do 15 in the beginning. I might change it so we can get some work done. Good. I'm going to move to some sweeps. Uh, I'm going to have Vicky face me and just show the sideways version for those of you who need to see that. Um, so we're going to do four rounds. We're going to get through this. Should take about eight to ten minutes each round. And as we go through, it'll be full body. Good. Nice job. Let's switch sides. All right. Switch through. Every exercise will have, for the most part, a body weight version, we'll have a band version, and we'll have a dumbbell version. Good, again, and let's do an alternate high kick. So we're coming straight up. Good, I'm gonna ask Vicky just to turn and do a couple facing me, just so you guys can see that as well. Not to kick you, sorry. <laughs> Vicky's gonna try and kick me, but it's just her and me today. So she might be like, yeah, probably not a great idea. <laughs> um, as oftentimes with the circuit workout, we're expecting that you're going to be able to go do one more and get some cardio afterwards. We're going to take care of the strength portion of your day. Your job is to then get a little cardio in after. Now, this is going to take anywhere from you know 30 to 40 minutes, so you might not have a ton of time. So you know, we can do a little metabolic, there's a little metcon in the videos uh, in the vault that you can go and you can do a little metcon that takes about six or seven minutes with some mountain climbers and up downs and things like that, or just head out. We're in Phoenix, it's beautiful, so we like to do that. Uh, I would like to do some alternating shoulders, please. Our ramps have gotten very similar, but that's because we're really trying to get you warmed up a little bit of a different way than when we do when we're in the gym by ourselves. So, keep going through. I will make sure I give everybody plenty of time to know what each move is, but Let's just memorize what the first two moves are. Some alternating side lunges and some eyes, Y's, and T's from a bent over position. Everybody good with that? Yeah. All right, so 30 work, 15 rest. We're gonna start with alternate side lunges. Vicky is gonna do a movement version. I'm gonna do just a standing in place version. Three, two, one, let's go. So we are literally if you're following me, keeping your weight on your heels and just moving side to side to protect those knees. I'll give you a little sideways version so you can see that my knees never go forward. Okay? They never go out in front. They always stay butt back and behind. Good. Vicky's doing the same thing, but she's making sure she's keeping her weight and she's just taking a step with each one. Now we're going to show some weighted options next time where we are happy to have that going. Good. All right. Vicky, you show going facing me, I will show facing them. We're gonna be bent over very far. So you might wanna watch the first one or two so that we can teach you the correct form. We're gonna go eyes, Y's, T's, squeezing those shoulder blades, keeping that head in alignment with your spine, thumbs up to the sky, backs flat, shoulder blades retracting every time. Make sure those T's don't go too deep behind you. A T is directly to the side. Eyes should be straight up. Y should be like the song YMCA. We're going to go to some inchworms and then to some squat work. So why don't you do facing them and I will do sideways. So when I do my inchworms, I'm going to start by touching my toes. Then when the bell rings, I'm going to take 10 to 12 steps out with my hands. Good. Good. Vicky's going to move over just a smidge, otherwise we're going to be like two rams 
in the, in the forest. Take it out nice and slow. You want to add a little push up at the end? Awesome. Get those fingers and try and put them on the floor. Now, if you're really struggling with these, do a toe touch, sit, stand up, stand up. If you're struggling, make sure you're watching me right now because that's what you'll do next time. We're gonna do a little squat to knee lift. If you already have your weights out, your bands out, great. But for the first round, we're just gonna do warm up body weight. We're just trying to get everything moving, get all of the fluid in our knees and our hips and ankles. Squat to knee lift. So kind of like think about it like if you've ever taken a boxing class, grab your head, bam! Ha! Grab, bam! It's good. So we will make these a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more metabolic later, but the idea is it's first round. Okay, we are gonna do a total of four, so there will be three more rounds. You'll get plenty of opportunity to break a sweat and get your heart rate up. We're gonna do a tricep kickbacks next. So you are gonna need some dumbbells or a band. Kinda hard to show this one without anything. So, Vicky and I are both gonna go sideways for a bit. I'm stepping on my band and stepping through. Vicky's got her elbows up very high behind me with a flat back. My hands are behind my head and I'm pressing straight up. So now you know my head's gonna stay in alignment. I'm going, my elbows never come out here. They're always in tight. The tighter you are, the better we are. Right? Gotta keep good form. We're gonna go to a wood chop next. I'm gonna show a band version. Vicky's gonna show a single dumbbell version. Might wanna grab a heavier one. I'm gonna show a version without weights as well. So, if you don't have any bands, you're gonna stand on one leg, you're gonna go down, you're gonna tap your toes or touch the floor, then come up and press overhead, because this is two sides. So you're just gonna balance, try and touch the floor and come back up. If you're doing a wood chop, I'll keep doing the same way. I'm gonna bring it up and straight back down. I'm gonna bring it up and straight back down. Going across the body, good. So right now, I'm also showing the version where my leg is in the air, coming across into my pocket. Vicky's adding a little mini squat to it, and you'll probably see her do a balanced version just like I did in upcoming rounds. Good, three, two, one. Remember, you can do this without any weights at all. You just balance, bend over and try and touch the floor, come back up. Don't go into full deadlift though. Keep that knee kind of close, so it's a little bit more of a bend over. All right, I'm gonna show my wood chop coming up and across with a band. Vicky's doing a great job of, it's a little bit easier with a dumbbell to be a little bit more of an arc. It's hard to kind of arc with a band, we know that. We're working with what we got, going up and down. This should be a little bit more of a, a core to shoulder move than anything else. We are gonna move on to some bear crawls next. Excellent job. I'm gonna show the sideways version. Vicky is gonna to crawl towards you and then come back. So you get on all fours. When you're on all fours, you lift up your knees this high, just this high. Then you just take very small, deliberate steps away from your feet and then walk backwards towards your feet. And we're going through and I should be able to serve dinner on your back. Do not mess up my cocktails. Keep going, nice job. Almost done. Hard one to put it in the middle because we have a little bit more after this. But then we get a break after our high pulls. All right. Now, Vicky's gonna show a one-on-one -on -one dumbbell. So, step on it with one leg, okay? I'm gonna do a little bit of a squat. I'm gonna hold my band a little bit lower than my handles. Down, straight up. Down, straight up. Down. So with a band, you almost have to squat. With a weight, you don't really have to. So I showed it on one foot for those of you who need an easier version. Most people setup wise will feel more comfortable with a wide two stand, two feet. So, Notice it's like I'm zipping up a big overcoat. So that's why I wanted to show the side version. There's a zipper right up the middle of my body. I'm starting at my belt buckle, coming straight up 
into my chin. Last move of this circuit, we'll take a break and we'll start over. Down, straight up, down, straight up, down, straight up, down. Good, breathe, pull your shoulder blades, get your elbow up nice and high, keep your hand underneath your chin at all times, and if you don't have anything, maybe here you would do more like a, maybe a mountain climber or a burpee or something, just to keep your, keep your training so that you're doing something a little bit more challenging. Hopefully everybody's got a little something. Nice job. Let's take a break. We'll come back. We'll make the circuit a little bit harder for everybody. See you in a minute. We are gonna get started with round two. We're gonna start with some alternate side lunges and some eyes wise and T's. So, are you gonna do the moving one or are you gonna do, gonna do the moving one? She's gonna do the moving one again. She's gonna add weights. So, I'm gonna change it so we get a little bit less rest. Ha! I'm a horrible person, I don't care. So, 30 work, 12 rest. I am happy to challenge you. Ready? Let's go. All right, so I am just showing the basic easy move. My butt is going back. Vicky is doing a great job. Now, she can hold her hands down low. She can put her weight up on her shoulders. Good, keep going, nice and easy. Again, I'm going to ask you to take a small step towards the middle of the screen, towards me. Good, there we go. Perfect. Now, we got everybody in the shot. Looks great. I, I'm showing the easy one, so I want to make sure everybody can see Vicky because she's working harder than I am. Eyes, Ys, Ts. If you are going for a strength workout, you can do alternating shoulders. But we have so many people with bad posture that this is obviously a very important move as well. Let's do it. Eyes, Ys. Teams, good. So go through that range of motion. Not really an easy move to do with a band, but great move to throw in with your weights, especially if you only have light weights at home. This is a great way to utilize when you only have light weights. And then the way I'm showing it, believe me, you do 15, 20 of these, I'm telling you right now, your shoulders in the right spots are kicking in hard. We're going to inchworms, inchworms, inchworms. If you don't want to just do inchworms, just do a lot of push-ups. I want you all to get the workouts you want. But I'm also trying to make sure we have options for everybody. Let's go, Vicky. We're going out and in. Good. I'm just going to throw one push-up in at the end of every inchworm. I can do a push-up, come back and do my inchworm, and then do a hop. I can come back down, add my push-up, come back up. And do a jump again. Probably not landing on Vicky. I'm gonna finish this one out, and then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna do a squat knee lift. So, if you just wanna go heavy, do goblet squats, do a wide stance, and a narrow stance. Vicky's gonna show a squat knee lift, and so am I. Down, up, down. I'm adding a press. Why? Because. I don't feel like there's enough shoulders in this move. All right, I'm lying. I just think it looks better. Good, down and up. Good, good. So, Vicky's doing a high pull, which we're gonna do later, but that's okay. Hey, you know what? Everybody's getting their own thing. If you were following along with me with weights, you're still doing fine. Keep going, awesome. Try some kickbacks, try some kickbacks. Okay, woo, all right. I'm gonna show facing you with a band, okay? I'll also, actually I'll show around the door knob, go. So if you have a band, you already know how to do it standing. What if you did it this way, okay? Band pullbacks, tricep kickbacks. Very similar to Vicky's version. However, you're just putting it around the door handle. You can also stand on it the way I showed it earlier and do it overhead. Lots of options here. We're gonna to go to wood chops next. So straight up, straight up, straight up, in case you need to forget, or in case you forgot. Wood chops. So if I'm using a band, I'm gonna go down and bring it up across my body. The butt, I bring it up across the side of the leg that I'm not standing on. Same thing with Vicky. She's doing a balanced version, which is great. Everybody should be able to find some way to get a good core, a good rotation, a good stability move. 
Band is also a great move to do on one leg, but it is very challenging because the band is trying to pull you back down. And that's okay. We gotta do the other side when the bell rings. So don't leave that side out. Woo! Nice job, everybody. Of course, now the music dies, changes songs, just when we need a little motivation. Let's do it! Coming straight up. We're here for you. We know being home cooped up, not easy, right? Keep going. We love you guys at home. We're glad you guys are here with us. Fitting time in. I'm looking at our numbers on the screen. We got like 35, 40 of you. I cannot tell you how helpful that is for Vicki and I to know that even though people are gonna watch us later, and we're gonna do a bear crawl, bear crawl, bear crawl. Even though they're gonna watch us later, there's still a lot of you with us now. All right, Vicky's gonna show sideways in case you need that, I'm gonna to come to you. All right, here we go. Remember, you are delivering me my martini. Do not spill my martini. You can shake my martini. You can stir my martini. But you cannot spill my martini. Keep going forwards and backwards depending on how much space you have. We're gonna do two high pulls and we're gonna take a break after this. Great straight circuit for you today. We're gonna end in three, two, one. Excellent job. Grab your band, grab your weight. You can add a squat or not. Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, down. Good, I'm gonna stand with both feet, hand in the middle, down and zip up the coat. Down, zip up the coat. Good, good. Heart rate's starting to get up there. Starting to get a pretty decent workout. A lot of these moves are super deceiving. And they're really deceiving when you have to talk to you the whole time. Good, keep going. Keep working hard, four, three, two. Excellent job. All right, Woo. one more side. Finish up round two, we still have two rounds. Don't go anywhere at the break. All you do is get to take a break, ready, set, go. Straight up, straight back down. This is great if you're having some rotator cuff issues. Just go slow, okay? You can do it, notice I'm just gonna do it with one hand, drop the other handle and lighten up the resistance. There's a million ways that you can do these workouts at home with us. Just find the one that's appropriate for you. There's always a way to do an appropriate version for you. Good, all right. Round two in the books. Get two minutes, get some water. We'll see you on the other side. All right, everybody, we're back for the next round. So we're gonna start with some alternate side lunges. I'm gonna reset the timer. We're gonna go 30, 12. If you wanna make different things harder, I'm gonna give you lots of options right here. We're gonna go in three, two, one. 30 seconds, alternate side lunges. So, I'm showing the version where I don't move. And that's okay. I'm working on depth, I'm working on pushing up through my heel, and I'm working on good posture. So, getting my butt back without leaning too far forward. For a lot of people, this is just fine. There's nothing wrong with doing things with proper form without weight, I promise. Okay, I'm already at like 70, 80 maps. So, you know, those of you who are looking for a way to make this super hard, you did ways, okay? Eyes wide and teeth. Okay, go heavier. Don't go faster though. Put a little pause and squeeze your shoulder blades at the end of every one, like this, ready? I squeeze your shoulder blades. Y, squeeze your shoulder blades. T, squeeze your shoulder blades. So after every movement, add a little contraction between your shoulder blades. My thumbs are up the whole time. My back is flat. Vicky's doing an awesome job of keeping her ponytail up and keeping her chest down at the same time. We're gonna go to inchworms next. Again, trying to make this workout harder, throw in more push-ups. Do at least one or two inchworms in between your push-up. Don't just become a chest heavy crazy person. You need the hip mobility too. So, I will show sideways, Vicky will show coming to you. Let's do it. Walking out. 
Do a little push up at the end if you want or don't. Walk back in, stand up all the way, or don't if it's gonna make you dizzy. There's lots of options. Down. I'm gonna do two push ups on this one. Come on back. We're gonna do anything towards again. I'm gonna do three push ups on this one. Lots of options, everybody. One, two, three, and up. Nice. Good work. After each one, if you don't remember, squat to knee lift, squat to knee lift. Okay, now, Vicky's gonna show weights. I'm gonna show a plyometric version. I'm gonna go down, up, down, up. So that's how you can make that a little harder. Ready? Down, up, down, up. Like an old 1980s aerobics move. Keeping your chest up, bam. Knee lift, bam. Good. You wanna make this heart rate go up? I'm in the yellow. I'm pushing hard. I'm breathing heavy. Good. You want the strength move? Vicky's killing it. She's got some good weights in her hands. You can go heavy. You can go light. You can even go speedy. Just don't go fast. Don't lose your form. Three, two, one. Tricep kick backs. Tricep kick backs. Okay. Usually one leg is enough for a band. Wrap it around a door and do it the way Vicky's doing it. Step on it. Do it the way I'm doing it. Straight up. Elbows in. My elbows are not out here. My elbows are in nice and tight. Show me what you got, people. Come on. The sun's out, guns out, baby. It's Arizona. Sun's always out. About 92% of the year. So, you gotta make sure when those muscles glisten, they glisten hard. Come on, don't end early. Five seconds, come on. It's only round three, two, one. Holy crap, that's hard. Wood chops. What's your version? Is it just balance and body weight? I'll do balance. We're gonna do balance weight. and weight dumbbells. Yeah. All right, that leaves me with bands again. So I'm up and I'm through. I'm going across my body. I might lose my balance. Notice how if I'm really struggling, I can put my toe down and do a lower version. Woo! Come on, baby. Let's go. I'm gonna go a little quicker. I wanna get back up in the yellow. I wanna burn more calories. I wanna burn more fat. I wanna breathe a little heavier. Get that CO2 out of my body. Come on. Nice. What's good for one side is good for the other. All right, we had somebody come up and say, how do we make bear crawls harder? I'm gonna show you next. All right. We put a weight on Melissa. We could do a, yeah, we could throw a weight, but kind of hard to do that at home by yourself. Yes. So I'll show you. Good. Keep going. Come across. All right, chest up. Now the hard part with it just being Vicky and I is I don't have Drew or Amber or Kelly to pick on. So when I show the harder version, uh, I gotta do it by myself. Why are you people so mean to me? Three, two, one. So we're gonna get into bear crawl position. But instead of doing a bear crawl, we're gonna do an alternating arm lift, alternating leg lift. So if you're trying the harder version with me, I'm in bear crawl, arm up and across, more like a bird dog. But it's a bear crawl bird dog. It's super hard. So if it's not appropriate for you, Keep going with Vicky. Right now, I'm going to kill the person who said, show me the harder version. <laughs> and the next time I see that person, I'm going to make her do this for nine rounds. Good. All right, high pulse, high pulse. All right, now, you're starting to get tired. So, it's important that you do not use your neck muscles. So, not only do you zip up the coat, but you zip up and pull your elbows behind your head. Zip up and pull back. So up, zip up the coat, pull back. Don't zip up and then pull to your ear. Up and back. Nice job, keep going. Pull hard. You got this. Come on. Three, only good reps. We have one more side. We get a break and one more round. Come on, baby. All right, we're gonna switch sides. Coming up on 100 maps. How about you guys? If you're not, man oh man, I don't know what you're doing. Ready, zip the coat, elbow back. Zip the coat, elbow back. Core engaged, glutes tight. Really work on squeezing your glutes when you do this. Watch how it changes. 
Imagine I'm there, and I'm throwing a dodgeball at your stomach the whole time. And I'm just making that dodgeball bounce off you. That's when you'll see a difference. Keep going. Really squeeze that shoulder blade without your neck. Pull it straight back. Zip up that coat. Come on. Five, four, three. One more. One more. Ah! Woo! Oh, I like it, I like it, I like it. Round three in the books. All right, Vicky, are you ready? Yeah. Nobody can stop you. You can do whatever you want. It's the last round. Okay. They know what they're doing at home. They know how to make it easier. They know how to make it harder. 30 work, 12 rest. Starting off with alternate side lunges. Let's wrap up this round of stage for the circuit. Ready, set, go. 30 seconds. I'll join in as soon as I get set up. I'm dropping out. Come on. This is all about motivation now, baby. This is all about working hard. This is all about finishing strong. You can go for a run after this. You can go get on a stationary bike at home. You can go get on a treadmill, whatever you want to do. Let's go, baby. Come on, push hard. Eight seconds. Do not quit early and do not sacrifice for him before we do those eyes, flies, and teeth coming up next. I want to see it. Yeah, baby. All right. I'm going to do eyes, flies, and teeth, but I'm going to make it a little harder for me, too. I'm gonna do it with my legs slightly elevated. Nice. So that's how you do it with, uh, without body weight. When you just have body weight, if you do it on one leg to one side, and then you switch. Remember, you can also make it harder by squeezing your shoulder blades together at the top for a pause of one second. Good. I like it, I like it. Finish strong. If you're tired, take a break. Do not do crappy sets. It never serves you well. Good. All right. Inchworms, inchworms, inchworms. You want to do a bunch of push-ups? So I'm going to do one inchworm, five push-ups. One yeah. inchworm, five push-ups. What are you going to do? How are you going to make yours better? Maybe you just do the inchworms. That's OK. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, and back. All right. I have time for another one. Yeah. And one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, and back. Oh, I got time for one more, baby. Down and out. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up. Woo! Squat the knee lift. Squat the knee lift. What do you got, baby? Come on. Got it? Do a little martial arts version with me. Got it? Do a weighted bird. Oh, what are you doing? You doing martial arts? All right. Bam! Bam! Come on! Let's go! Good. You're holding weights. Down and up. That's okay. You're holding a band. Down and up. Come on! Come on! I love it. Try some kickbacks next. Come on! Hop! Hop! Come on! Get that heart rate up. Push hard. I want it, baby. I want it. Push. Break that board. Smash that over your knee. Bam! Nice. Try some kickbacks. Woo! You got some heavier weights? You got a harder band? Can you step away from the door to handle? Whatever. Let's do it. All right. Do not sacrifice form. Elbows in. Just getting set up here. Come on. You can go faster. You can engage. Come on. Feet together. One foot. Lots of options. Mom's burning. I gotta do wood chops next with you. Woo! I'm feeling those push ups in these. Come on! Four! Bell ring, please! Three, two, one! Oh, good God! Huh! All right. I like it, I like it, I like it. Wood chops. Band version. Weight version. Show it to me, baby! Core engaged. I'm gonna run a squat. We are in the squat for Vicky. I'm going a little bit more arced. Not so much up like a high pole. Out and away. Watch my side version if you're looking for that. Up. Nice. Across. Oh, this yellow band is getting harder and harder. Five seconds. Do not quit early. Come on, baby. Last round, best round. Another wood chop. Bear crawls, high pulls, and then we're done. 
So come on, find it, find it. It's in there, find a way, find a way. 1% better every day, baby. Let's go. All those people who left early, they don't get Crazy Bobby. They don't get Cheerleader Bobby, okay? You leave early, you lose out. Never, never quit early. Always go to the end. Always finish what you start, but always do it with proper form. Always, always. Come on, baby. Three, two, one. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Bear crawls. No, I'm not doing the harder version this time. I'm just gonna do a straight up bear crawl with you. Three, two. All right, let's do it. Walk slowly. Hands underneath. Good. Back's flat. Remember my martini. You're not spilling it. Back which is good too. Kind of throws you off a little bit. If you're tired, just hold it. Just hold it in position. Fourth round, that can happen. 10 seconds. You can be tired in the fourth round. Just hold, hold. Five seconds, keep those knees up. Keep those knees up. Hold on, come on. High pulls. Two high pulls, we're done for the day. Two high pulls, done for the day. Unless you're gonna go and get some cardio, which I hope you are. I'm gonna challenge you today. All right, go, go, go. I'll be there in a second. Feet out, zip it up with the band. You know what to do. Nice. Throw that squat in if you just need a little bit extra burning. Come on. My back count looks like a ticker. Ticker on the muscular dystrophy telethon. It is just rolling. Just rolling with maps. Come on, baby. Four, three, one more. Woo! All right. Oh, boy. Aren't you glad you joined us today? Circuit, baby. You get a lot done in the circuit. These moves didn't seem too challenging on the first round, did it? No. But you know what happened? We figured out a way. We made it harder. Went a little faster when appropriate. Tightened up that form when appropriate. Went a little heavier when appropriate. Add an extra rep when it's appropriate. You know how to drill? Come on, baby. Keep inviting your friends. Tell people to join us. We want to see your friends, your family, your neighbors. We want to know your people from college that you haven't seen in 20 years. Nice! Oh, man. Woo. All right. Looks good. How you guys feeling? All right, so, as we always do, we're trying to control your strength workouts. We're trying to be your trainers. We're gonna be your coaches. And we're gonna make sure you do all the good things that go along with the strength training part. Because you don't normally need our help. But if you do, I'm gonna challenge you to head out the door. And I want you to go for 10 sprints. So that means you walk for a minute, jog for 30 seconds. Walk for a minute, jog for 30 seconds. Okay? Or just go out and go for a bike ride. You can do sprints on a bike. Or if you got something at home, an elliptical or whatever. Just challenge yourself for 30 seconds every minute and an hour. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you're done, flip over to one of the stretch videos. Thanks, Vicky, for helping me out today. I really appreciate it. We'll see you again tomorrow.